since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violent. And it's the violent that it take it by force. Hello, good morning. I've been waiting for you. It's so good to know. We are doing this series of no more delays in life, ministry, and we are breaking those evil yokes of delay. Proverbs 13, verse number 12. Hope deferred, make it the heart sick. But when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. I just want to say something to you. My passion and desire is to encourage you to get to a place where your hope is not deferred. It is not destroyed. Yes, I want you to get out of these sicknesses. I want to see your desire coming into fruitation. I want you to become a tree of life. There are so many spiritual delays. I want to go through them quickly. There will be what I call divine delay. This is sometimes when you are driving your car, you find your tires are punctured and your journey will delay you. You have to repair the tires, put in the correct pressure and move on. God at times may delay, but one needs to understand the inside. Otherwise, it becomes a deception of the enemy. God may stop you from writing that contract that arrangement, only to discover God evaded you losing your millions. Oh yes, there might be some strange things in the relationship. You wanted to get married, you have seen the parents, you have seen the pastor, and then suddenly something crops up. Within you, you sense there is a voice telling you, don't be quick to put the wedding date. You will live to thank God you never married that man. Because the stories will come up. He has been married three times. He has a number of children and he was cheating you. Or this lady was not the right one. Or maybe the business you wanted to do. And the people you wanted partnership with, they were dubious. There might be a personal delay. Please call up your friends. Let them hear what you are hearing. Personal delays are caused by self through ignorance or intentional foolishness. See, many of us don't want to read. Many of us don't want to compare notes. Many of us have no mentors. We have no coaches. We don't have a man of God of our lives. We don't have a prophetic voice that it speaks to us. By the way, who is your spiritual father? Who is your coach? Who is your mentor? Where do you consult? Who can rebuke you? You see, you can do things on your own. I have known of people that wasted their life savings by just making a mistake of having no person to speak into their lives. They did things by ignorance. My people perish through ignorance. Or say a false six. Well, this has nothing to do with the education you have. This has nothing to do with the status you carry in the society. God is a God of order. Why do you think he gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers? Is there somebody you consoled so that he speaks to you prophetically into what you are getting into. 
And many of us are not aware that prophetic offerings play a key role. When you give a prophetic gift to a man of God who speaks into your life, you are tapping into that resource. Prophetic giftings and blessings will continue to play a key role in our life. I know I'm introducing something many of us may not want to buy into, but in the Old Testament, people visited prophets for a direction. I'm talking of a pastor in your life. I'm talking of a man of God in your life, an apostle, a prophet in your life. I'm talking of an evangelist, a pastor, and a teacher. You belong to a local church. You are accountable. There is somebody who speaks to you to remove these personal delays. Holding adamantly to that which will never work. You are doing things the way you have done them, the way you have done them. You are still digging the old well, thinking you will get water. It's only a person who is not informed, who is operating in ignorance, who continues to repeatedly dig for water where there is no water. Programmed delays is another spiritual type of delay. A long-standing automatic failure system. You are about to get married, it stops. You are about to get employed, it stops. You are doing exams, automatically you become sick, the results are horrible. One gets lured into something. And this could usually translate to the family covenants. You know, every one of us has a spiritual history. Whether it would be good or a bad history, it affects us. Sacrifices which were made on our behalf. Traditional laws, some of them that are retrogressive and the cultural bondages. We fancy so much my tribe, my people, my community, even when you are a child of God, you are still accepting that delay. There must be a paradigm shift. A paradigm shift, a major change. You must go east when everybody is going west. You must go north when everybody is going south. A time comes you have to deliver with the certain prescriptions from your family, from your culture, get into the Jesus culture, then there will be no delay. At times, another type will be inherited delay. Inherited delay, you are born in a particular family experience. You know, we are so proud <laughs> of our culture. And I look at the brethren, I see it has taken them a long time. Somebody has worked with God for 15, 20 years, 30 years. is still thinking cultural. You know, the word of God is cross-cultural. The word of God has nothing to do with your norms and standards. Our worldview is a biblical worldview. There is an automatic failure system that is set in your life. If you are not aware of it, it will work. We used to have a lot of uh, power failure here in uh, our church. So we sat with the leadership. We shared with the church. We said, let us get a generator. And we bought a generator, which is automatic. When the power failure comes on, automatically it switches on. There will be a delay of seconds, but we are on. And when the power returns, it switches itself off. Some of us are into automatic failure system. I call that AFS, automatic failure system. Do you know what it is? You know, Never respect location or distance 
That is the language the devil knows. He will track you down. You run away to Canada, you run away to the U.S., you live in Australia, you live in England, that old devil follows you up. He follows you up, and he will do a lot of mess with you. I pray that some of you will love to know your spiritual history. After mapping, you will know altars. You will know sacrifices. You will know the prophets and the prophetesses, the priests and the priestesses of your community. You will even identify where these sacrifices were being done and what kind of sacrifices were done. Now you take serious spiritual warfare. You engage mature men and women of God. They pray with you. You repent, you confess, you renounce, you make major decisions. You disconnect yourself. You raise Jesus as the one to be worshipped in that family. Inherited delays will scatter. You'll get married. You'll get your job. You'll save. you raise children. There'll be no early deaths in the family. You will live to your destiny. I hope you are hearing me. And you will offer sacrifices to Jesus because he has broken these inherited delays. I want you to look at me. I had to do certain things. Talked to my parents. I knew where they were born. I visited that place. I knew where they lived. I knew the movements they made, even where they built the home first. I went there and I did the physical prayer walks. I went to the place where they were taking water, where we were taking water, and I cried out to God. I climbed out to the highest points, the hills, and I prayed over the community. Oh, my God. I prayed. Yes, I prayed. Yes, I prayed. Yes, I prayed. And I brought in a new spiritual altar, Jesus Christ. And things changed. There will be spiritual witchcraft delays. Do you believe in witchcraft? Do you know there are witches and wizards? Wrong men? There are witchcraft powers over a person's life. Uh-huh. I don't know why. My money disappears. I don't know why. We are having a lot of miscarriages in our marriage. I don't know why. We can't build our home. I don't know why. My children cannot pass exams. There could be witchcraft powers. Initiated and monitored or sponsored by stubborn, wicked spirits. And usually this begins from the rural area where we were born. As Africans, we know there are people who don't celebrate you, are you passing exams. There are people who don't rejoice that you have built a new home. And they will go after you. They will pursue you. There will be monitoring spirits, agents and even persons. You require serious deliverance prayers. You need to be holy in your prayers. I like telling people, you don't need to go to anybody for your deliverance. Pray yourself, pray the word. Learn the scriptures where the word of God plays a key role. Where the name of Jesus and the authority and the power it carries works in your life. Where is blood? The greatest weapon will destroy witchcraft, sorcerers, and wizards. Where the blood of Christ works, prayer works, prayer and fasting. And then you need to be aware. Since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffereth violence. And it's the violent that you take it 
by force. I've spoken to some people and I've told them, I'm afraid the exposure you have concerning the word, the name of Jesus, the blood of Christ, the type of prayers you are engaged into, your deliverance may not come quickly. You need to be violent. You need to pray aggressive, serious prayers. I've given people scriptures and I've told them, read these prayers, read these scriptures three times a day, morning, lunch, evening. Do this for a whole month. Then change your prayer style. Pick up a time in the night, maybe between 9 and midnight, midnight and 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock and 6. Pray that for a month, reading those scriptures. Report back to me what has happened. If a doctor gives you a prescription, you follow it to the detail. How about when a man of God speaks to you apostolically, prophetically, evangelistically, pastorally, and he speaks as a teacher, do you take him serious? Huh? It requires breaking the grip and the hold of satanic delays through witchcraft. May I say this? If somebody targeted you and they took your clothes or they cut your hair or they followed up certain things and they made sure there was a delay in your life, you need to fight to get out of that altar. I don't have the time to tell you of the pastors who spend their time praying until God opened their eyes to realize that even in the church, they were having witches that were bringing in strange money to stop the flow of the resources of God. Others were sent to greet them before they preached. I think we need to be careful now. We handle these things. You need to know there will be certain type of spiritual delays like unconscious and hidden delays. One is not aware that it's operating in your life. You can't know. But you are asking yourself, why have I been teaching and I have all these qualifications nobody has remembered to promote me? Why are people coming from behind and they are given better positions, better salaries than me? There is something of a delay. Doing very well in life, but something is not working in one area of your life. Oh, yes. Somebody called me from a long distance and said, Bishop, for the last 10 years, we laid a foundation for our rural home. It has taken us years. We are getting to 10 years. And nothing has happened. Then we talked and we discussed. Then we unearthed a lot of information of what was going on in their lives. You know, these are people that have been to university. They are having two degrees. They are highly paid. They drive good vehicles. Where they are working in the city, they have good home. But at home, it has become an uphill task. Unconsciously, there is some hidden delay. I am speaking prophetically. I'm speaking apostolically. No more delay. You have been going around that mountain for a long time. It's time to break camp. It's time to break camp. There should be no further delay which has been interfered by demonic activities. There should be no personal delay because you lack revelation. Knowledge and insight. You see, <laughs> you are not able to strategically discover 
how to employ your skills, your talents, your resources, your money. You are not able to employ your money in the right way rather than making strategic investments where returns would be used. You are spending money on non-essentials. And you are still believing that your cultural wisdom, your cultural attachment, your cultural wisdom and advice will help you. At the times it will not. Get the revelation. Sometimes Satan has programmed you into automatic failure system. How about inherited delays? You know, sometimes somebody has spit on you. Somebody has said things to you. And they have told you things. And you say, oh, my great-grandfather did this. Oh, my grandfather, my grandma said these things to me. At the time, some of them, they are pronouncing those things from my wrong altar. Witchcraft delays. They must be dismantled. Unconscious and hidden delays where we renounce, we repent, we disconnect, we raise Jesus as the one to be worshipped and things will change forever. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray no divine delay will be set into our lives without us having insights so that we can go with the timing and the seasons of God. I refuse personal delays. I refuse intentional ignorance and foolishness. I will seek for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Revelation. No programmed automatic failure system will work in my life. I refuse inherited delays, witchcraft delays. I refuse unconscious and hidden delays. My cry is, Jesus is my Lord. He has saved me. He has redeemed me. He has given me the word, gave me revelation to do battles. I come out a victor. No more delays. No more delays. No more delays. I enter into my spiritual inheritance as a child of God. My inheritance, my inheritance, my inheritance in Christ Jesus. Amen and amen. Wow. Wow. Respond with an offering on the pay bill number 989870. 9898-70. Bishop George Kichana tells you no more delays. You are blessed. Share with others. Look into these things. And may I say this? In your inheritance, you have entered and you are entering. Until we meet again, it's goodbye from us here in Eldoran Kenya.